Okay, we'll um, look at four basic rhythms to get you started. Uh, we're going to be using a G chord, a D chord, E minor chord, and a C chord. Now, the chords we're using is, in this exercise are somewhat stylized versions of standard chords. Um, I use these particular versions because in each one of these chords, your third and fourth finger is planted firmly on the third fret of the first and second string. So when you play the G chord, play like this. The D chord, simply move your first finger over to the third string. The E minor, move these two fingers over, and the C chord makes it easy to shift from chord to chord. The basic rhythm, these rhythms are charted out in measures. Each measure is a unit of time. It gets, in this case, four counts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Each um, count of four is a measure. Um, the first rhythm we're going to look at is you use the uh, G, D, E minor, and C chord, and we're going to just do a strum on the first count of each measure. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, to, to get you to play this in time, meaning that there should be no lag of time in between the measures, you don't want to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just play the chord, and instantly, as soon as you play it, release it and get your fingers set up for the next chord, the next chord in, in the, the following measure. So it would be G, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, E minor, 2, 3, 4, C. Don't let the chord ring. It doesn't sound very musical, but it, it sounds better. It sounds more musical than losing time in between the measures. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. As you get more comfortable with switching from chord to chord, you can let the chord ring as long as you as, as you can and still get to the next measure in time. Rhythm number two, same chord uh, sequence, but now you're going to do a strum on the count of one and the count of two. Strum, strum, three, four, strum, strum, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Rhythm three, three strums per measure. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And finally, rhythm four, four strums per measure. Once you can do this cleanly and evenly, you're ready to play a whole variety of really more interesting musical strums. So here it goes. One, two, three, 